Okay, here we are. Today, Ryan, I want to talk to you about cooking. I want you to learn a couple of dishes, just some go-to dishes. And one of the first ones I want you to learn is a simple crock pot dish. This is a big crock pot. Um, I think you've actually got one that's a little smaller than this, but this one is a, a big Mac Daddy one. Um, I don't want it to be this big. I'm not gonna fill all the way up. But I've got some white kidney beans here that's been soaking overnight. Now, when you get them, you, have to, you need to rinse them first and then soak them. And I put some salt in, this, in the water and I always use um, spring water. And then you rinse them after, so before and after you soak them. And that way, so the reason you rinse them before is because in case there's anything on the beans, any uh, chemicals or insecticides or anything on there, you rinse those off and, and the, the chemicals don't get soaked into the beans to start with. And then after, you just kind of give it a second, a second rinsing. And get these guys pretty clean. Okay. So we start with that as the base. Check. Then we're gonna do some uh, mushrooms in there. And the order doesn't matter because uh, it's all gonna be stirred in. So you don't need to worry about order. But the good thing I like about cooking with a crock pot is it's really simple after you get the chopping done. So the chopping part is the hardest part. And you wanna be careful when you're using a knife. I'm using a pretty sharp knife which um, I talked to you in another video about knives. Uh, so this is where you want it to be pretty sharp. This one is, is pretty sharp. And I might want to put a little edge on it, actually, before I go to doing the tomatoes, which the tomatoes are, uh, you know, you need a sharp knife for tomatoes. But I'm gonna show you a technique for slicing stuff so you don't slice your fingers. Because you don't need that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you can slice like this and chop like that. But what I like to do is to pivot the tip of the knife down and then slice like that. Now, you keep your fingers out of the way and you're gonna put your, your knuckles on the blade part so that your fingers are not underneath the, the knife, the, the sharp part. So it's you're butting your knuckles up against the blade. So when you slice, you're slicing like that and your tip of your fingers are out of the way. Now, it would be really embarrassing if I'm telling you all this and then I slice, ah! No, I'm not gonna do that. So here's the mushrooms, all ready to go. Put those in there throwing stuff in there. So we're gonna put some onion in there too. This is just a regular old onion. So let's get this sucker sliced up. You know, while I'm slicing this up, I wanna to talk to you about the stuff that you eat. Now, uh, Try not to eat anything out of a box. Just stay away from that. You don't need to eat anything out of a box. And that includes all the good stuff that you love, like Kraft macaroni and cheese and uh, rice -a or whatever 
those things are because just as a, as a rule of thumb, the stuff that's in the box, that just comes out of the box, has a lot of preservatives, additives. And there's a reason, and we don't know what the exact reason is, but there is a, there's an environmental reason why the tied with the leading cause of death is cancer. Um, and that could be a number of things, but what you want to do is, is just think about eliminating the things that you can control. Like what can you control? You can control the kind of foods that you eat. You can control the additives that you put in your body, whether they're going to be uh, things out of a box or things that are fresh or do like this. Uh, making making your own food that are fresh food, fresh or organic ideally, fresh foods. Uh, and another thing that I want you to learn to stay away from is this thing right here. This microwave, or any microwave. Just do it the old-fashioned way. Use the pot, um, or whatever you're going to heat up, it takes a minute or two more to heat it up on the stove top. But don't don't use microwaves. I don't use them at all. I've got this one here, but I never ever ever use it. I've never used that microwave. The reason I would use the microwave would be for something that I would not ingest, like if I need to heat something up. <clears throat> and when people do use a microwave, or if you have to use a microwave, make sure you know it has the five beeps. When it gets done, it goes beep, 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 beep. You always let it finish the beeps because the way that it heats stuff is it causes friction. So it takes the molecules and it rubs them against each other like that. And if you just open the door, they're still rubbing up against each other and you just open it and release it down in, uh, all over your hand or into the room and it's not healthy. So eliminate that as one of the things that could cause you harm. So enough of that. Let's go back to the good stuff. Make it some crock pot white kidney beans. I always wash everything real good, even if it's organic. Still wash it. So I like to put jalapenos in in uh, almost anything because it just tastes good. And once you get, a, get an acquired taste for for some spice, then you'll like it a lot. Now, I'm going to show you a trick here to make these not so hot, hot, and spicy. Um, you basically give it a slice down the middle, and then you go in here and you you carefully cut out the seeds and all that white stuff, and and that's what you get, basically like that. You do it on both sides. I typically leave it in there for my crockpot stuff, but I'm showing this to you, so you'll know in case you don't want it so spicy. There's that one. And then I'll wash this one. I'm just going to put this whole thing in there. out like that, cutting it on the end first, like so. Pop that little thing out of there, and then do like that, and then cut this stuff out of there, like that. The same with this side. And you can go at your own pace, you don't need to go fast, Just, you'll get faster as you get good at it. 
but I'd like you for you to learn a couple of dishes that you can make. And the cool thing about this is you can start it in the morning and let it cook for six hours or so. Because once you get this stuff in the crock pot, you can just leave it alone and go about doing your day, whatever you're gonna do. And the amount that you put in here is dependent on how many people are gonna be eating. So are you cooking for, for your mom or a couple of other people? Then you need to gauge how much you put in there. But if you're just doing this for yourself, just to try it out, you don't need to put too much in anything. You saw how many, how much beans I put in there. I basically put a, uh, four cups of these. Oh, well, beans, that's not very many. It'll probably make like uh, four meals. Four or five meals for me. And then some celery. And in there. Mm -hmm. She were here for me to talk with as I'm doing all this. That would be fun. Just about the beans in there, is it? It's all kind of other stuff in there. Healthy stuff. Very important to eat healthy. Lots of vegetables. Now, you might know some people who are who are vegan or vegetarian. And you know, I've tried that. I've tried being vegan. I tried it for, I don't know, almost a year. And I started noticing my body not responding well to it. And um, I just went back to eating meat and felt so much better. So I just determined that I have to eat meat. I'm not one of those body types that could do that. And I don't think there very many, should be very many people that are. Unfortunately, it's a sad part of reality that humans need to ingest animal protein. Uh, <clears throat> it's good, it tastes very good. One day maybe there'll be an alternative that meets the needs that we need. But for now, uh, we don't have one. So, I think we're supposed to eat meat. All right, so now I'm gonna add some uh, Italian. I didn't show you how I cut tomato up. I, mean, I was busy talking, I didn't tell you how I do that. But these, this is some Italian style chicken sausage, like that. Pretty good brand, pretty healthy. There's not really hardly any additives in there. And my crock ready. I'm trying to show you how good I am this. It's not being so smooth and agreeable. Right. Man, they make these things.
two down. Oh. Three second rule is not working now. It's like 15 seconds on the floor. But the floor's pretty clean. Plus this heat's gonna kill anything. So we're going to preserve the non-preservative sausage. Let's get a little bit of rinse. Okay, now getting down to the nitty-gritty. The one trick here is to put some good garlic in there. We're gonna put a lot of garlic. So this is uh, <clears throat> going to cook for, like I said, six hours or so, and then I'll just put it in the refrigerator. And what I do, so I'm feeding myself, is just leave it in the refrigerator for when I want to make a meal, and I'll just go and pull enough out, heat it up on the stove with whatever else I'm cooking it with, and including with it. And got meals for a week, pretty much. So the tricky thing on garlic is, you want to separate it out like this, and then give it a good crush, like that with a knife. Make sure you don't get your finger or anything underneath the blade when you whack it down or the side of your hand or anything, and then you're crushing the, the garlic, and then the skin peels right off, just like that, look at that. Like that. Serious now. So, um, what else can I talk to you about while I'm doing this? Hmm. Right. Now this is a big pile of garlic here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do, when you do garlic, <clears throat> start with just one clove, like this, and do like that, what I showed you about your knuckles, just do one like that, and you can slice start slow at a time, slow, like that, and then when you get good at it, you get comfortable with it, you can just put a whole bunch in there, have your own little food processor. And there's the garlic. Voila. Well, we've got pretty much all the ingredients going in there. It's time for the fun stuff. The fun stuff is spices. Which spices are, you know, there's so many spices. I don't know much about spices. There's only a few spices that I do know. They're my go-to spices. I wish I knew more about what spices should go with what things, but I just haven't spent the time to learn them because I like the ones that I've discovered as my go-to's. So, what are they? 
Let's do some garlic, uh, granulated garlic, not garlic powder, but granulated garlic. Put a good bunch of that in there. You can't put too much garlic in there. Lots of garlic. Look at that. Lots of garlic. Okay, and then this is onion powder. This is actually onion powder. I like granules in it. No, is this? This is granules. Um, so this is really good in soups and stuff. When you're cooking on the stove with this, it tends to burn. So I don't put that on the stove as much when I'm cooking stuff on the stove. And then here's some sage. Yeah, this is sage. I'm just gonna put a little bit of sage in there because I'm going to go heavy on the Herb de Provence. That's the good go-to. Mm -hmm. Bunch of that. Going heavy on Herb de Provence. Mm -hmm. And some black pepper. As if we need some more pepper in there. Probably don't, but. Yeah. And then, some salt. This is actually pink uh, sea salt. I had this thing because it's easier to control. Got a little moist because I took it out in the, uh, cooking out on the grill. Now you can always put more salt in, you can't take salt out. Remember that. So go light, and then, this is the last thing I don't put in there, and then you can put more in after you taste it, after it's been cooking for three or four hours, and then put some more in there. Now, we're gonna to top it off with some chicken broth. all those good yummy spices all down into the crock pot mixture. about right. It's going to be a little soupy. That's fine. This is going to be really good with rice. And, uh, I might put some extra chicken. I, I might cook extra chicken because that Italian sausage is, is good. It gives good flavor to it. Uh, not, not, might not be enough protein. So, um, yeah, that's that's how you do it, and then next thing you know, you're done. So just in that short amount of time, we got this thing started. Cookie is done. Just like that. Take the camera and take a look at that. Pretty good, huh? So that is the the first of a couple of dishes that I want you to uh, to learn. I guess I'll get the spoon and stir that later.